Steve, you're church warden here, um, and I know that uh, you've been looking at the carbon footprint of this church, and one of the things that we're encouraging all of our churches to do is to do their carbon footprint and their tools around to do that. A significant part of that is heating. You've got quite an old, old uh, oil-fired uh, boiler here, and I think that's been causing you problems, hasn't it? Yes, that's right. We were thinking that, A, we're trying to use this boiler, which is not as efficient as it, as it was, B, we're trying to heat this big, tall church, um, and it's coming on in the night time because it's trying to protect the system, so we're using so, a lot of oil. So it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, it's using a lot of oil and it's costing a lot of money, which isn't brilliant, is it? And I gather you've worked with someone who's come up with some solutions uh, that you might use going forward. What, what are they? That's right. Uh, there are three options. Um, the first one is to use pew heating, so we have uh, heaters just by each uh, of the pews and that warms the person rather than the building. The second is a sort of hybrid of that which is if we have areas where we don't have pews we can have some panel heaters as well. And then the third one is to use um, an earth source heat pump uh, and that would use the, 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 the radiators that we currently have now. So it's great, it seems to me it's about, it's about heating the person rather than the building so that the people who come to worship are, are comfortable, which is good and important, uh, but it's also then about the comfort of our planet as we're not uh, uh, abusing our planet by using the resources. Um, That's right. Really simple, practical things which put together make such a big difference to us and to our world. Uh, Steve, thank you.